Welcome back, guys. So the next section we will just talk about now. Now this section will be here. Will be our project section. So this section will get these two boxes here. Show you this here. You can see say for inside this skills section, we get one outer global box where these three boxes come day inside. Now that one no come day inside this one. Well, it day inside this one say, but the only idea be say we no come make a day visible. You know say in one of my previous tutorials, I tell you say everything where they go on inside our website, now nah, box, nothing more, no more, no less. Now nah, just like box. So this one said, you get this outer box where they here. We don't just represent them. You just talk say, okay, this box where they here like this. We, we go, we go ignore the color. You they feel me? Then we go just pay yeah, attention to yes. to um the the two boxes where they inside them. But in reality, there is also a box outside these two boxes. So now the same imagination, the same concept. Now in this one said, go take. Change the feeling exactly. So I will just come back here inside our uh sublime text and I will just talk say okay inside my HTML file like this. This one will be very straightforward and quick. I will just copy and paste, nothing much. I will just do uh control C here and come here outside this. You know, say now this one self now another section on your own, then control V. Now we get this um global beef will be project cards wrapper so why are they use cards here basically we say if you look at this um our website so this thing where they here like this so you see i'm used to say you show where we like this now within they call card for inside css with that card now just say you you build one rectangle you curve the edges you can't give a background you can't give a um, box shadow so now waiting by uh, card just need be that so it just be like words where they play so you see i'm say rectangular shape you can't get shadow see small small thing like that so we get global wrapper our h1 tag this first box this second box and by the way again you suppose don't know by now say okay if you want to draw box for inside html you could just talk to okay now div you go use draw then you will give a class come go target the class for inside your css then come give a different border shapes. So you could just say, make it take in height, make it take this one, make it take that one. Properties. So basically, in our properties, we they use the control, the boxes for inside our CSS. You feel the idea? Yeah. So we could just come back inside our CSS now and talk, say, okay. So I could just first target um, this, our project card wrapper inside our CSS. So I would just paste this information here, like this control V. Okay, the height of this uh our wrapper, I won't make it be 400 pixels. I won't make the background be this. I won't make the color be white smoke, make itself get text shadow, make it get border radius. You they feel me? Yeah. So I will just come back here to say okay. Right here now. Uh save this file. Come back inside my uh our browser, reload them. Now I'll show you see. So the way where they see this color, I need to come fresh the color. I will just copy the color with the inside this um download CV background. I will just use them here so that we know we'll get color riot. So I will just switch back inside my CSS file like this. Just okay, go to pg.css, come back inside our download CV. Now, this is our download CV. I will just copy this um color with the here like this. Come back down here like this. Okay, okay, background. I will just paste them here. Brown. Now you go to say within this text shadow they do here. So this this text shadow it they apply to this project with the here. Show you the few me right. So I will just talk say okay text shadow gray. So for you to just see, say okay. Uh, now that now this uh, project with the and this text it they apply to where where instead of this gray I will just talk say okay make it be green. So that you go fix here and where where. So I will just come back here like this. Talk say okay, reload this file for me. Now you see say this green don't they show here? The reason you know they see and where where before now because they a gray I use and gray with that initial color will be like um brown so they won't mix. So I will just return this one to be uh gray. So save this file like this. Come back here, reload them. Now you see say you know they see and where where, but then it did behind them. So uh this 
because uh, okay, so that because say okay, we know they built this website for any um professional reason, so I will just leave this color as it did like that. Well, it's not too bad, it's not too good, it's all right. So I will just come back here. Um, okay, this whether radius is too much, I will just save this one and leave them as five. So you see, I'm, I will just reload them. So you see, I'm like this, right? So what I will just do be say, um, okay, I will just like make margin day. Margin, I will just give and say, okay, um, 5px, save this file like this, come back here, reload them. So you see, say, don't get margin for around them like that, right? So our website is looking really, really nice now. Yeah. So the thing I will just do is say I want to represent the card with the inside them. I want to go style these two cards because I don't give on this class uh, project card. So I will just come back here again. So I will just copy this um, property and then come back inside our CSS. Talk say okay, the property I will just paste them. So I talk say okay, this project card now. I want to make it be 250 pixels of height. The background make it be transparent, make it no get any background. The border radius make it be 10 pixels. The box shadow make it make it be zero percent, zero pixels from x axis, zero pixels from y axis. This one at the now how strong we want to make the uh, shadow be, and this one uh, how uh, wide we want to make it make it be. So the width of the box i want to make it be 600 pixels and because say i want to make it day side by side now what it also okay make the display be in inline block you know saying that two boxes we get inside that general uh wrapper so i want to make it day distant from each other make it make the two boxes no one day jump back together so i give and say okay margin to be two percent so i will just save this file like this as it did then go to um our website can reload them. So you see. So you see. So now we know they represent any color inside them because we don't tell us they make the color be transparent. Right? So the color where they show inside here like this, now the color of this background. So if you want to see the difference now, I will just talk, say, okay, uh, make I just change the color to say green. Uh, this color now, the color of the wrapper now, I will just talk to you, okay, make it be green. Because you see, as I change the color to be green now, because there's this color now has been here like this, not transparent. The green will reflect inside all this, inside these two boxes with the inside the general, uh, this general wrapper. So I will just reload this one, show you see I'm like this. So if, if you if if you just want to say, okay, you want to give your own inner box some general color, you can just talk to you, okay, I want to make it be white. Okay, I want to make it be blue because this one has solid color. You go to see and where where. So if I reload this file now, sure you see I'm saying blue they represent inside them. So I will just control Z, control Z, control Z, save back. Then it will give us back our uh this very beautiful color. So now we go just move on because say we don't get any project where we go add inside this one. And again, I talk to if you get project where you could like a send a picture, video, whatever it is, you could just put an inside. You know, go put an inside this general box. So sure you get them. You go put an inside this card. Sure you get them inside this. Now where you want to make it be be that. Sure you get them. So you go see say if I cut out this project where they like this. Control X, come put her inside this one. Show you see her. So you go there inside this first one here, yeah, like this. So I will just reload them. Show you see, say you don't do inside this one. You don't carry and come here. Come put her here. So because say we talk, say okay, make this information be inline block. Now why we say anything where you do here, you must do them here also because they are sharing the same space. So anything where they happen here, they also happen here because say we never represent this project now. Inside this one, now why will be say this one? Now why will be say distortion can day one can go up, one can go down. So if I come back here again like this, toss okay. Inside this one like this, I can't put this my project self. If I save this one like this, come go back inside this our um website, come reload them. Sure, you see, see everything don't come back to normal. So the idea of waiting at the trial represent, you see, 
I don't carry this project now. Come up for inside that general wrapper. Come put an inside here. So you always want to know where you want to represent your information before you start to rebuild your website. I hope say you the key into this knowledge. She now why we say designing your templates firstly before we start to rebuild our website will make life day very easy for us. She you get that. So I will just come back inside my um HTML file, compress, control Z, control Z. So you go return this project inside this wrapper for us. Here you see, I'm so I will just press control S now to save them. Go back inside our browser, reload our website. Here you see, say this project now you don't return to a normal position, and this one now not in the inside them. So we are good to continue, right? So the next information where we go just represent now, now, um, okay, make, make I check our template so we don't represent this place we don't represent our header section we don't represent our skills we don't represent our project then the next one where we want to represent now distinction say okay why should employer hire you so anybody will just stumble on your website okay you could just read your uh you could just read the information about how you can date distinct unique and spectacular sure you get the idea like that so because then are still the same representation of information we will get general wrapper we will get our individual boxes then we will get all those information good day inside our uh general wrapper so i will just copy this one like this talk say okay uh control c come back inside our sublime text then come here talk say okay Control V, come paste them here. So you see, see, here like this, I don't get our general wrapper, right? I get distinction inside this one, distinction or if it does say uniqueness or why you should employ me. Sure, you get the idea. Let me just put them very simple and straightforward. Why you should employ me. Oops. So if you save this file like this, so by the way, you see this text where they are with us say Lira, Lorem, if some dollar, whatever, 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 whatever. So now just dummy text where they inside the HTML. Share you see them. So if you want to type your own like this, you could just say Lorem, then press tab. Share you see them. So it will give you the Lorem uh, dummy text. So I could just save this file like this. Go back inside our. Um, Website, go and reload them. Now, share you see. Share you see. Now, you see, say, you don't bring this one. Say, why you should employ me? Then you get our Lorem, Lorem, Lorem. So, if you like, say, just three Lorem representation, we get so three, one, two, three. So, this one just be like one box on you. This one says, be like one box on you. This one says, be like one box on you. Don't be saying, be like, now just box them be. You can't be say, it can't depend on whether or not you want me the box show for your website. If you want me the box show, then so if you just give a border color, border width, and lot of uh, border properties like that, where we don't already discuss for inside this YouTube channel in our previous tutorial. So what we go just do now? We say again because div is a block level element. Now why it is stack up on top of each other like this? So this first lorem it go there on top of this one. This one go there on top of this one show you feel the idea so now uh we will just go to our sublime text inside our sublime text now we just go inside our css file so i will just copy this information also because i don't already represent them safe. so i will just um inside here like this i will just talk, say okay control v so this distinction card wrapper now by now you don't already they click so the distinction card wrapper now this one with the here like this the see so i don't give on this attribute text align center height this one border width so border width like this go give us say okay we want make the border we want make the box show the filler so border width to be two pixels border style to be dashed but margin top this border color green color this text shadow this border radius Margin now text shadow no go apply to this box where we debut do 
the text shadow will apply to any text with the inside that box. And because say, this one a the general rapper, right? So you go, you get this text with the insider. Sure, you get this general rapper. Get this text with the insider. You get this um uh why you should employ me text also. Show you the filler. So I could just save this file, save this our CSS file also. Come back inside our website, come reload them. Now share you see. Now, but we won't make this information come stack side by side by side. You the feel out. So we could just come back inside our codepaging.html. Now, because we want this one today beside this one, they beside this one. So side by side. Right. This one means say this box where they here, they they share the same property with this one. They also share the same property with this one too. Show you the fill out. So I will just give them one general class name, will be distinction class because not just distinction. Why you distinct with that? So again, if you name your own class anything, just know that anything where you give them here, now waiting you the target for inside your CSS. So what I will just do now is I will just talk say, okay, the distinction card here, just talk say, okay, control C, this distinction card, so you see, so I will just come back here, control V. So the distinction card gets the height of 250, background to be transparent, but that with this one, this one, this one, and this one. So the basic thing of what I they try to explain for inside this, distinction card we say even though it get transparent you get width you get border style then you get your own uh width so border width is different from width so width now how wide the how wide do you want me the box be border width now how wide do you want me the border be so you they get them right so this display inline block now the magic where they always make Div element will be block level element, they side by side. You get the idea. So I will just save this file like this. Talk say okay. Come back inside our browser, reload our website. Here you see now our website is looking awesome and nice. You they feel them. So this box now can day in you. This box day in you. This one self day in day. Show you the feel them. So as we say, we don't complete the creation of our distinction section. I will see you for the next tutorial. Until then, take care.